today's video is brought to you in part by Corsair. The Strafe Mark II features 100% Cherry MX RGB key switches, providing a smooth and linear response with precise accuracy. These switches deliver flawless key presses and have a lifespan of up to 50 million actuations, so you know you're getting the durability you'll need. There's also a convenient USB pass-through port for any additional USB device you might want to use. It also includes a volume wheel so you can adjust the audio on the fly without interrupting your game at all. The Strafe Mark II is also compatible with the IQ software so you can customize the RGB to however you want it to look. Looking for a tool to take on your PC opponents? Give the Strafe Mark II RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard a look today. All right, so there you have it. Looking for a killer keyboard? Make sure to check that one out by Corsair. We'll have a link down below. So check it out. For AMD fans, the news is kind of a mixed bag. Even though we're probably not gonna see Navi till probably second or third quarter of next year, on November 15th, at least right around November 15th, we are going to see a brand new AMD 590 card hit the market. Now, even though that doesn't sound like really, really exciting news, what's really exciting about it is it's going to be the very first First GPU that's based on the 12 nanometer process. So regardless of anything else, whether it's a slight Polaris refresh or anything else, the good news is that AMD is the very first company in the world to hit the 12 nanometer process on their video cards. So you're gonna see all the companies, Sapphire, XFX, all those giant card companies, in the middle of November, you're gonna see this brand new 590 being launched. So what I've heard so far though, is that spec-wise, it's probably not going to be that much different, meaning that it's not gonna be like a whole, whole lot faster. It'll probably be a little bit faster. Um, the exact memory configuration, haven't actually got that because it's under, under NDA, so I haven't actually seen that information, but I do know that the cards are coming. They're gonna be based on the 12 nanometer process, and they will have, supposedly, new cooling apparatus. So we're thinking, you know, smaller die, better yield, which, you know, should come across as better pricing to all of you AMD fans out there and for gamers in general who want a card that's affordable, because we all know that right now, unless you want to get into the 2070, the higher end cards from NVIDIA are very, very expensive. So as long as the card is, though, a little bit faster, it's affordable, and the biggest thing of all is that it's available and not sucked up by a bunch of miners around the world, you know, eating all the cards up so that, you know, true gamers kind of get screwed up to pay a higher price tag it will be great, you know, even though it's a Polaris refresh and it's, you know, not, you know, the greatest, you know, new chip, it's not Navi, it's nothing, you know, extremely radical. The very fact that AMD was the first person to the market to bring the 12 nanometer process is still an achievement and shows that AMD is starting to be a little bit competitive. Now, on the GPU side of things, I've said this before, it doesn't really seem like to me AMD is putting their full, full effort into it. Now, I know a lot of the fans out there have sent me emails saying, hey, you know, they've moved certain guys from certain departments here, there, and everywhere, you know, to make sure that the GPU department is doing better. And I really hope that they are because when AMD doesn't release new cards and new technology, it really leaves NVIDIA just to kick back, sit on their laurels and do absolutely nothing. And trust me, even though I know that sucks, if it was you and it was me, we'd do the exact same thing. I mean, if I have a white car and all of my white cars are selling and they're selling good, why would I need to introduce a blue or red car? You know what I mean? It's a matter of the numbers game. It's like, sure, okay, we could release them, but if there's no reason to and you're still making a lot of profit, especially on older technology, well then, hey, what the heck? Now, I have seen video card prices drop quite a bit. You can get a lot of the older series from NVIDIA now. A lot of those cards have actually dropped under $500. You can even find, if you look around, a 1080 Ti, it'll be used probably, but you can find one for under $500, which is a really good deal. So if you're not into RTX, that's cool. But on the AMD th side of things, you know, I was really hoping that we would have seen their actual new chipsets this year by CES, but that seems to not be the case. So what we're going to be getting is we're going to be getting a brand new 590, 12 nanometer process, 
It's probably going to be about 100 to maybe 200 megahertz faster, which isn't a whole lot. It still will give it a boost, but hopefully with the new cooling apparatus and the smaller die, we're going to see more cards available on the market, which will mean they're going to be more affordable and more available to gamers out there, which is really what's the most important thing. It doesn't really matter how good or bad a card is. If the card's so overpriced that you can't afford it, it's just like a pipe dream. And all of us know, you know, you don't want to sit around and pipe dream too much. You know, you want to actually live in reality and get yourself a video card. So for all those people out there who've been waiting for AMD to do anything whatsoever, well, guess what? Your day is about to arrive. Around November 15th, like I said, the new 590s will hit the market. 12 nanometer process, like I've repeatedly said, the first to the market on this. New cooling apparatus, which hopefully will keep the cards running a lot cooler, and hopefully everything will be available in the market so that you guys can buy the card at a good price and get your game on. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Thanks for watching. For AMD fans out there, hey, at least there's a little bit of sunshine at the end of the tunnel. Peace.